Well, I enjoyed uh, being on the panel with you, Mary Bell, and, and with the other folks as well. I learned a lot uh, here at the Open Mobile Summit. Um, sharing a little bit uh, about what I said earlier, um, you know, in healthcare, we've been a little slow to embrace uh, the digital age. And so uh, it's interesting that with this um, emergence of mobility, there's now excitement actually around information technology. And it's kind of what we're seeing in the emerging uh, developing countries where um, users have bypassed um, the PC era and they've gone directly to mobile computing. Um, there, we have physicians now that are really having their first meaningful experience uh, with technology on iPads and iPhones. And their exposure to that was from the consumer space, not from healthcare. And as a result of their pleasant experience with these smartphones and tablets, they're now coming to us in IT saying, hey, why can't we get um, these healthcare applications to run on, on these devices? I'm very comfortable using them. I like using them. I don't want to use your PCs and desktop uh, workstations in the hospital. I want to use them um, on no my devices. No cows for you. Yes, I no have, cows. I they, don't, they, don't, they don't like cows. Um, so that's been our, our, it's been a paradigm shift, whereas before it was, we, we were pushing the technology, we are encouraging uh, physicians to embrace the technology. They're coming to us now and saying, we, we want this uh, functionality uh, available on our own personal devices. And so what we have currently today, um, we have our electronic health record is now available um, on these devices, both on, on the iPhone, soon on the Android, and the, the uh, iPad tablet as well. It's mostly read-only. Um, they can access all the information that they can get uh, on the on the traditional Windows-based client uh, on on these devices. Um, but but they're clamoring for more. They want to be able to do their prescriptions online. They want to be able to adjust their their schedule online. So uh, there's a lot of activity going on right now in the electronic health record space. Um, this is not just limited to uh, physicians and clinicians. Patients as well are also wanting access. Uh, to their health information using these uh, smart devices, these mobile devices. So we have our personal health record is available online uh, from their uh, smartphones as well as their um, tablets. Um, and from these devices they can request uh, refills, prescription refills, uh, appointment requests, they can do secure messaging online, as well as access their clinical information, their labs, uh, their allergies, their medications and that sort of thing. Some more exciting things that we've got uh, coming around the pike is uh, some uh, access to clinical data that, that uh, is even more exciting uh, on these devices. So we have currently the ability to, to uh, deliver electrocardiograms, EKGs, oh, cool. uh, on our smartphones and uh, tablets. And the nice thing about this is, you know, in the past, uh, cardiologists might get called about, you know, a patient in the emergency room complaining of chest pain, and the ED physician might say, well, you know, I'm a little bit worried about this lead and some ST elevation in, in this part of the EKG. Now the cardiologist doesn't have to try to visualize that in their head. They can actually log in to these devices and see the EKG for themselves and be able to help um, the, the ED physician make decisions about what needs to happen uh, for that, that patient. Um, same thing's happening for labor and delivery. Can I ask a question about sure. that? Um, so are they basically just accessing something that is on a website? Is that being downloaded to a device, or is, is it just in the sky? So that's really a question of security of yeah, data. Yeah, that's a good question. It's it's not being downloaded to the device. Not, we, the, there's very little, uh, if any, information that's actually stored locally on these these smart devices. Um, they're they're um, served up, if you will, from uh, the private cloud on which our enterprise applications uh, reside. So the EKGs are taken, uh, they're stored on our servers, and then through the internet, uh, the physician then accesses access these uh, images or EKG data um, uh, with a password. Got and, then, it. and then as soon as they see it and, and they, they're done with it, it's not there on their device anymore. Wonderful. Taking care. One security question done. Yeah. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, we certainly want, want it to be as secure as possible because it is an issue. Um, there are a number of federal regulations that govern the privacy and security of health information. And if you breach that, you know, you're subject to criminal, criminal and civil penalties. Um, last question for you. Okay. Anything that you'd like developed in the mobile landscape that isn't developed today? Yeah, I think that, well, there's lots, so I'm going to try to answer it succinctly. Uh, I think that where there's a great opportunity is uh, in the consumer space. So I think there's a, a wealth of, of application development for mobile clinicians 
um, but I think that w the next great opportunity is with the, the patients themselves. And uh, you know, we've historically focused in healthcare on curing illness, and now there's this this transition of wanting to keep people healthy and yeah. focusing on wellness and fitness. And so that's really, I think, where the opportunity is for um, mobile application development. Uh, connecting to sensors um, that will take your blood pressure, measure your weight, um, just your general level of activity and tie that together. And I think there's some exciting opportunities to do that in a way that uh, leverages our experience with social networking and gaming. Um, and so uh, this is a really yeah. innovative area. Through that, the that gamification really... of health and, exactly. and M wellness, so exactly. to speak. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time here. And I appreciate you being on my panel at the Open Mobile Summit. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure.